Well, uh, I think he's had a very big influence on me. It's hard to say, but he's probably made me who I am. Not like him, but I learned a lot from him. Uh, when I went into politics, Ko Chok Tong suggested it and he relayed it to me and he encouraged me to consider it seriously. Uh, so I said yes. Uh, if, it hadn't, if he hadn't been my father, I don't know. I, I might still have found my way into politics. Many of my, the other ministers and MPs have found their way into politics without having had a PM for their father. Um, maybe if he had not been my father, I might have felt less of a sense of responsibility that I had to take this up and do it. Well, having seen him do it, having seen him put his life and soul into it, you know why it's important and you feel it's something which uh, if you can contribute to, you have a duty to do. If it hadn't been him and I had been carrying on with my life and you asked me to essay this, well, I would say, let's give it a try, it's a challenge, but you won't feel that same deep, you won't have that same deep feeling of what is involved and how much it can mean to you. But having seen him struggle with his languages, having seen him uh, go around the constituency visits, having seen him recording Battle for Merger, slogging it away, and the speeches and the rallies and the persuasion and campaigning, you know what you're in for and you know what it's about. Which is a, an advantage, but of course it's also a that puts a greater burden on you in terms of what you expect of yourself and what others expect of you. Uh, not for me to judge. I'm sure he believes I can do better. <laughs>
uh, the wildlife, and you want to keep it like that. So in the end, I didn't cut the trees down. Thanks but he you. felt strongly about it. 